brought to you by... If you're enjoying the content here, please consider supporting us on Patreon or Tippy. friends welcome back to etf where today we dare to knock once to wake her from her bed twice to raise her from the dead and become hunted by a ravenous entity <laughs> don't knock twice serves us up a disturbing urban legend involving an abandoned house that is supposed to be inhabited by a vengeful child stealing witch we follow troubled young Chloe, who raps at the door one night with her boyfriend, and has no idea of the horrors that she is about to unleash. After fleeing to the country home of her estranged mother, a recovering addict, who has since turned her life around and become a famous artist, Chloe must learn to trust the woman who gave her up years ago, in order to have any kind of chance at stopping the bloodthirsty demon that is pursuing her. I was very glad to see that Katie Sackhoff isn't just a one-trick pony in the world of horror. Following her success in the highly regarded Oculus, she gives it another go in this one, portraying a woman who is heavily damaged, possibly suffering from long-term bodily distress, having been a drug addict and now clearly dealing with some sort of a fractured psyche as a result. She does a great job with this, adding a lot of subtle nuance to her performance that really sells her afflictions. I wish I could say the same for her daughter, whose performance offers little more than genuinely believable expressions of fear and a boatload of teenage angst. This film wastes absolutely no time in getting to the scares, thrusting us into the first kill scene about five minutes in. We aren't given much in terms of gore throughout this one, but it also isn't really that type of film. The overall design of the vengeful spirit is effectively well-crafted and genuinely spooky, shape-shifting between two forms, stalking through scenes as a vengeful knife-wielding granny before clawing its way along the walls as a gangly hideous horror hag. They utilize these designs extremely effectively, placing her in deep shadows with only passing shafts of light, which was also part of the problem. The creature design was very much akin to the one we saw in Lights Out, especially since we never really get to see it outside of a very stark silhouette. I liked it, but at the same time, I wish it had done something differently. I did enjoy the brief tie-ins with the Baba Yaga legend. We've been seeing a bit of a resurgence of that myth in films lately, and it's easy to see why. The film is shot very well, utilizing a very distinctive camera style and highly unique traveling shots. Coupling this with the highly detailed lighting schemes that plunge areas into deep shadow, illuminating only what is important for us to see, makes for a very strong one-two punch. The climax of the film makes some attempt to elevate itself to a grander plot twist that is essentially meant to feel as though the entire film has been building to its reveal. This however fell very flat for me. Part of its elements felt strongly forced and didn't build enough to leave me with any sort of shock or excitement, which made the film as a whole feel painfully generic. I didn't find this one to be a bad film by any means. It had a lot of strong moments that were highly effective and others that just sadly fell short. So I'm giving Don't Knock Twice a C-. I've definitely seen better, but for those casual viewers who find enjoyment in popcorn horrors like Insidious or The Conjuring, I think you might get something out of this. I believe it is still currently available on Netflix. If you have seen this, let me know your thoughts down below. If you're seeking out something new and innovative that redefines the horror genre, you won't find it here. So I wouldn't knock twice.
If you enjoyed today's video, please feel free to let me know. It's just a quick scroll down there to that comment section below. If you're enjoying the channel more than words can describe, shoot me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. If you would like to show your support even more, come find ETF on Patreon or Tippy, where every pledge and every tip brings you rewards galore. Not to mention allowing me to bring you more films to explore. But all jokes and rhymes aside, if you have any films that you would like me to check out, or that you might like to see reviewed on this channel, feel free to reach out to me here down in the comments, or over on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And I will catch you all next time. Thanks for watching!